world developers welcome back to all of you once again my name is nikhil from india so i have two years of experience so from today we are going to explore about service portal from scratch to end so if you are a new here please do subscribe so today is makar sankranti as well in india so happy makar sankranti to you and your family and hope you all are doing well so let's get started so here what is service portal a portal is a service no user interface it looks like a website built using the service portal framework and the technologies which are involved to develop a service portal are html css javascript and you should have knowledge of service no scripting and it provides an alternative user experience to standard ui and it is easy way for user to interact with underlying no platform using a minimum number of clicks from any device such as desktop tablets smartphone etc and portal allow user to access any platform component including selected record from the necessary tables such as all task assigned to the user metrics reports and analytics service catalog knowledge base surveys user profile approvals and more let's see how portal looks like So friend uh, this is the service portal out of the box service not platform provided So friend I just want to play these tools and that will be helpful for you to understand all these components which is on this page So let's play this service portal guide okay so it is saying that let me help you to understand about this portal i am service no platform guided tool assistant and configure and trained by human and i will help you how to use this portal so friend developing guided guided tools for portal is very easy all you have to do is that from the application navigator you have to type tools and under this guided to designer you could see this guided to model and once you open it will show the list of all the guided tools configured for the particular page uh, we can say uh, I, i would like to open uh, this page So this is the incident management form layout. So there you will have a guide for layout form layout. So before because we are learning service portal, the guide tool which I have developed for this is. service portal guide so this one so all you have to fill is that a name and the type i have selected is service portal you can select standard ui uh, you can select other types as well Uh, for an instance so this is the, the, the type here they have selected is platform okay 
in this context we'll see that a later so this is how you can design tour and it is very easy you can write html css as well so in the introduction part i have created this image and here you could see okay so let's go to the home page and let's begin click this begin tour okay so this search box on this banner is basically for to search knowledge articles and catalog item why because uh, from the application navigator if you will type portals and once will open this menu it will show the list of all the portals uh, which is out of the box provided and some are custom which you can be created so okay so this portal that okay so this is the record so under this uh under the related list you could see this two search sources okay related to this portal means uh from this portal we can search knowledge bases and catalog items okay knowledge bases means knowledge articles and catalogs means catalog items and see here uh, for these portals we have added this it knowledge base and the catalogs we have added here is that service catalog and technical catalog okay so using the search box we, you can search knowledge articles and catalog items not only that you can uh, search other records as well but for that you have to configure a search source for this portal so let's go to next so request something by clicking this link it will redirect you to catalog items category page from where you can select category and choose preferred catalog items okay so if i'll open this page Uh, you can select the prefer catalogs and under this catalogs you can select preferred category and under that you can select catalog item for your service so knowledge base it is same as this only difference is that it will serve you the knowledge articles so let's open so we have only one knowledge base associated with this portal that is this it and if i'll open into the new tab uh, let's on this record and uh, under this a knowledge base uh, you could see we have think we have this many categories okay new application device it email suppliers so all this fill you can see
so this news category has no any knowledge articles associated that's why this news category is not showing on in this page okay so next this is the get help which is the part of the service category which is the part of the service catalog category uh, which is a uh, get help itself is catalog item category i will show you under this we will find uh, all this catalog item or uh, this is custom booking ticket cancellation others we have change password create agile group this will come if you enable agile development application in your service no platform password reset enrollment request knowledge base next request so it will open you all the request created for you created by you let's open this okay so my request so you can see the incident i'll open this caller david miller urgency to medium this is all open request close request you can see and you can design your own custom widget to show the requests records uh the system status is talking about if an admin want to check the system status through the service portal then they can navigate using this menu yes it will basically tell about the status kind of uh health tracking if you will add any item into cart list then here you can see what all catalog items i have added here okay and below as name suggested all these widgets a current status you can check here top rated articles you can see on this widget my assessment and service you can see on this widget if you will have some feedback to be completed then it will appear here announcement and this announcement basically it is telling about the esc portal employee service center and the approvals if you will have some approvals that will appear here and your open incidents will appear here and if you will configure a chat bot for your service portal then that will show like this uh, this is basically the chat bot if i open this we launch this virtual agent application to solve your queries fast and not only that you can contact with help desk agents for the particular uh, query resolution you can contact 
so friend that's all for introduction and further we have this structure okay portal anatomy according to record so okay so this record as you can able to see on the screen based on this record i am showing this structure so that it could be easy for you to understand how records are linked to this record okay. like the portal here you can see on in this portal record there are many reference fields such as home page kv home page login page main menu theme catalog home page catalog category home page this error page it means uh, this portal is the related record for that page and this index home page can be used by other portals as well that's why here the portal is the related record of all above pages home page login page kb page catalog home page catalog category home page and same here the same header menu can be used by multiple portals that's why the portal is related record of header menu and the portal can use a specific theme but one theme can be used by multiple portal that's why the portal is related record of theme and same here catalogs so here catalogs is related record of portal search so is the related records of this portal knowledge basis related records of this portal same here theme is related to we related to widget that is footer widgets and header widget so i will show here so here you can see this search sources related record for this portal and it doesn't mean that only this portal can use this search sources the search sources can be used by other portals as well okay this knowledge base catalogs used by other portals as well and this is the taxonomy i will show you uh I'll launch this ESC Full Service Center. Okay. Uh, below this header navigation, you can able to see this uh, area. Okay, this is called as taxonomy, and taxonomy might have more than one topics. And basically, topic contain articles, catalog items. If a topic will be empty, then that topic will not appear on this taxonomy bar. So right now, for this ESC Employee Service Center portal, have this taxonomy, and under this IT. Because uh, this is the parent topic below, we have IT for IT and browse all IT. This is the child topic. You can see. We'll check about a later. So no need to worry about this.
and if you really enjoy this video please do subscribe and just the starting we will explore more about the portal